Hello guys. I know every time I have happy mail, I come on here and I'm like, I'm so excited, I can't wait. You do not understand the gravity of this situation. This happy mail I'm about to show you and the setting up of the new binder is one of the biggest things I'm probably gonna have to save for in my life bar a house. I will get into a little bit more detail as we go through, but the entire thing that stemmed me getting this binder was a video that I watched by Taryn at Brain Budgets. I love her channel. She was in my dreams for nights. She she showed this product on her on one of her videos. I think she had it in her own binders first. And it immediately caught my eye. And I knew I had to have it, but I was like, no, Giuliani, you're on a budget, you need to hold on, you need to, you know, slow down, give yourself a second. But about three nights later, after consistently having dreams about this product, I was like, it's, that's the end of it. I just need to go get this. And so I did, and it arrived yesterday. Now, you, at the time you're seeing this video, if you haven't already told, told by my really grown out nails, I think I'll be posting this a few weeks after I film it, just because I'll be on holidays and stuff. But I put it on my Instagram that this was going to be one of the most important happy mails I've ever had. And so it will be, and I'm so, so excited to share it with you. They are absolutely gorgeous. And before I start into another rant about it, I'm gonna get it out and I'm gonna show you. So this is the beautiful envelope that it came in. And for those of you that don't know, I think Taryn is based in California. I might have that wrong. And she shipped this to Ireland for me, which is incredible. So I'm gonna start with some freebies first because I was so excited about these. Again, as always, I won't pretend that I haven't opened this. I have, but I try to put everything back together really nicely so you guys can see what I have got. So we got some stickers, which are gonna go in my purse. And they are absolutely gorgeous stickers, so I'm delighted with those. I got a little, little mini savings challenge, and it's laminated as well, so I can reuse this. So that is perfect. And then we have a thank you card saying, thank you for supporting my small business. I hope you love your goodies. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out. Want to place a personalized order? Just send me a message, Taryn. And then there's all of her... What are these called? Handles? I can't remember what they're called, but this is everything. And there's a little scratch off there. I don't know what's under the scratch off, but I'll check that afterwards. And then this is the most important part. So I saw these envelopes on Taryn's channel and I, I thought they looked gorgeous. And I was like, Juliana, you have enough binders. You have enough envelopes. You don't need anything else. And then she put up a reel on Instagram, I believe it was, of her packing in order. And if you can't already tell from the titles, this is for my wedding. And it's, oh my God, they're just absolutely incredible. So I'm gonna show you them up close so you can really see. Oh my God, do you see this? The reflective, these are her starlight vellum envelopes and Oh my God, like they, they are just stunning. But yes, sorry, so she posted a reel and in this reel, the labels that she had on the envelopes were for somebody who had ordered them for a wedding. And immediately at that point, I could no longer deny myself. I was like, I, I'm i gonna have a wedding. I need this. So that is what we have done. So what I'll do is I'll get you the binder so you can see what we're gonna put it in. And then as we put them in, we can discuss the wedding. So this is going to be my beautiful wedding binder, blue. We have a theme going on. I got the daisies in three colors. So we're going for blue for the wedding. I have my little dashboard done in here, which I love. And then we can go ahead and pop in our envelopes. So, and these are so well made, like they are so sturdy. They are so beautiful I'm just and they're also consistent as well like I've only made envelopes myself a few times laminating wise and mine they're hit or miss okay they are definitely hit or miss and there's always some little differences and stuff but these are so consistent so gorgeous she is so so talented so I don't know what order I want to put these in 
in I think we're just gonna wing it and I'll change it a different date but just for some background wedding wise I just want to make it clear that I'm not one of those girls that has dreamt about her wedding from the time she was a child that was never ever something I thought about even in adulthood never really thought about getting married nothing like it honestly never even really thought I'd be engaged it's still very shocking to me to this day but you know delighted nonetheless but for my wedding it's not something that we want to spend a lot of money on we want to keep it super small super close and intimate and I'm excited to save for it I'm excited to have it but I'm excited to have a binder that I can cash stuff into for it but for us we do want to try do it on a budget so I'm excited to share the journey of cash stuffing for a wedding so that you know I feel like there's a lot of a lot of um a lot of the things you watch about weddings now it's like how can we make this big and grand and all of these things and that, that's nothing like what I want so um, maybe this would be a little bit of interesting different wedding stuff for people to watch so what we have I'm going to put wedding rings at the front so obviously that that's a given you know what I mean we need wedding rings I'm actually not wearing my engagement ring right now just because I'm just back from Pilates but we both need to get wedding rings I think I'm going to put dress in next so for me I have a couple of ideas in mind generally of what I want for a wedding dress but I can't say I don't know how much a wedding dress costs so I don't know what I need to save I definitely don't want to go try them on when I don't know how much they're going to be I need I need to do some more research on that but that's going to be yeah, that's going to be a fun one because I don't know really what I want. I have an idea. I've seen some ones that I do like, but the thought of spending so much money on one dress kind of kills me. <laughs> so we have miscellaneous. So miscellaneous can go down the back. That is just, I'm assuming that somewhere in here I've probably forgotten something. So miscellaneous is in there as a catch-all. There's suit, so that is for my fiancé's suit. He also doesn't know what he wants, but I feel like there's a lot less room for movement in the suit realm than there is in the dress. Cakes. So one thing that we do know is that we don't want one big cake because it's going to be a really small wedding. And can I share? I'm just trying to think, can I share some of this information? We will be getting married in France. That is the current plan. And as a result, there's some incredible patisseries around that will do small little cakes. And that is the way I want to go. I would rather have an assortment of small little individual cakes than one big wedding cake. So that's the way we're going to go with this. That's why this says cakes. And shout out to Budget with Kerry because that is the only reason I even thought of cakes. I probably would have forgotten that otherwise. Um, but because she's had issues with her cake recently, it put it to the forefront of my mind. Videographer. So this is this is going to cover, I don't know, do you need a photographer and a videographer or does one person do both? I honestly have no idea. <laughs> this is the most disorganized wedding binder. I don't know what I'm doing. We're not going to be getting married for another probably five years because I'm studying to be an accountant. My fiance is going back to college for probably about four years. And then on top of that, we need to save for it. So it's going to be a while before we get married anyway. This is going to be a slow burning binder. But we know that the most important thing to us is to have video footage of the day. However, videography is like right up my fiance street. That is his thing. So it may be a case that we get somebody to get a lot of raw footage. And then he may do the editing. I would not be surprised if that's the, the approach we go with. Venue and decor. So obviously this is going to be, we're not going to get married in church. Um, that's one of the things that we're sure on. Neither of us are uh, very religious. I don't like the idea of getting married in a church because that is relig... I, I don't know how this may be controversial. I have no problem with what anybody else does. This is just what I want to do is I've never really been very religious and I don't want to get married in a church when I've never practiced religion because that feels wrong to me to use a church for my wedding day when it's probably the only time I've stepped foot in a church and probably will until I'm in 
a coffin. So <laughs> that's just my take on it. I don't mind when everybody else does. That's just how I feel. So for us, venue and decor is going to be the hotel that we get married in. We will probably do a ceremony in the hotel, which is the next envelope. So I'm not sure how that's going to work as well, because if we're going to be in France, then I'm assuming so anybody who'd be doing the ceremony would be speaking in French, but my family are Irish. So we need to figure that out. Entertainment, this, we have no idea what we're going to do entertainment wise. Um, my ideal would probably be getting a DJ. Don't think we're going to do a band and a DJ, but then you could also just plug in an iP iPhone or an iPhone. What's it called? An iPod somewhere. And you can tell I'm not an Apple person because I couldn't even remember what it was called. Yeah, not sure what we'll do for entertainment. Love suggestions though. So if you have anything that you saw at a wedding that you were like, oh, that's great crack, tell me because I need ideas. Wedding party. I remember when I was writing these titles that I had an idea of why we called it wedding party and now I can't remember. I think this, oh, I think wedding party, this envelope is in relation to, you know, any expenses that we have in relation to bridesmaids or groomsmen. Yeah, that makes sense. That That's what that's for. I couldn't remember for a second. Honeymoon. This is probably going to be the beefiest. I should probably put that behind entertainment, shouldn't I? And maybe videographer. Yeah, because it comes last. So honestly, this is the one I want to stuff the most. <laughs> this is going to have the most in it. I would rather spend more on my honeymoon than my actual wedding because I, I've really had this idea that I want to do a lot of traveling after we get married. I don't know why. That's just, that's what's in my head. I, I, I dream more about my honeymoon than I do my wedding. And then the last one is travel. As I said, because we are planning on getting married in France, there's going to be travel involved because we live in Ireland. So that is why that looks like that. So a little flick through. So we have wedding rings, dress, suit, cakes, ceremony, venue. I cannot get over this sparkle. This was the perfect decision. Wedding party, entertainment, videographer, travel, honeymoon, and miscellaneous. Stunning. And on top of all that, I actually have a little bit of money I can stuff in here already. So I'm going to grab my sinking funds binder so we can stuff this. My poor sinking funds binder is just getting smaller and smaller because I keep taking out envelopes and like just making full new binders for that stuff. So as I said, there's going to be a slow burner. We have a few years to do this. At the minute, I'm kind of stuffing a fiver here and there. So what do we have? We have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Not bad, not bad. So now the question is, where do we want to start first? And I'm thinking I might get little challenges like, like this one is absolutely perfect. I think I might have one from Luna Lolly as well to pop in here. So I think I would like to put this one in dress because that's my envelope. Sorry if you heard my stomach there, I'm starving. <laughs> and then where do I want to put money first is the question. I, I feel like I want to put, a, like, give everybody a little bit of love. So I think I'll put a 10 into venue and decor first, because that's probably going to be, bar the honeymoon, the most expensive piece. Ooh. Oh, I love it so much. Then we'll do five for entertainment. We'll do five for... Five, definitely into honeymoon. This is just random. This is just how I'm feeling right now. I cannot get over how stunning these are. I'm so happy with this. Where else will we go? Hmm. Maybe do a five for cakes. We want to do a five for dress. I'm not going to fill in that little challenge right now because I just want to work out what what I want to do with it first. And then we'll do a final five for wedding rings. 
and that is our wedding binder all started so yeah we'll throw little bits in here as we can over the next year or so and then i'd say late next year we'll start really trying to stuff this and get some stuff done on it but yeah i hope you enjoyed the wedding binder i will share my plans i'm sorry i cannot pick up this sticker because of my nails there we go as we come up with more plans i'll definitely share and yeah i'll bring you guys through the journey of us trying to figure out one how much a wedding is going to cost two how much do we actually want to spend on a wedding and three yeah how, how do we plan what are we how are we going to get there what are we going to do so that could be fun hope you guys enjoyed thanks so much for joining me and i'll chat to you soon bye